Hi guys, it's Marianne, the frugal chef. Hey, um, I know grilling season's almost over in the United States and the Northern Hemisphere, but it's starting here. It's going to be spring in a couple of weeks and everybody's getting their grills out. So um, I have three more grilling videos that I, that I made in Newport Beach and I want to go ahead and post those and then we'll start making casseroles and all kinds of other fall foods, okay? Um, this first one that I want to put on, it's grilled beef ribs. Now, I wanted to just let you know, I went kind of crazy with my spicy rub because I wanted to use up a bunch of my chilies in my pantry. You don't have to do that. It actually tastes really good. If you want to go ahead and use all those chilies, well, great. But you can make these without the chilies if you would rather just have the barbecue uh, flavor. I just rub them with salt and pepper you know, and, and start grilling them like that and then end them up with the barbecue sauce. But here's a grilled beef rib video. I hope you enjoy it. Let's make this, okay? So the chilies I'm gonna use for the ribs are two pasillas, two California chilies, and four arbol. These chili arbol are really spicy, okay? What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna roast them in this pan. I'm gonna dry roast them, toast them really just for a little while. So this is a dry skillet. It's non-stick. I'm gonna turn on the heat. And I'm gonna go toasting this on, you know, on all sides, turning them with my tongs. I'm gonna know they're ready when they start kind of blistering and also when you start smelling that aroma of, of, the, of the, you know, charred pepper if you want. So check these out. I don't know if you can see, they have like little blisters, okay? And they smell, you can smell the chili, and that's what we want. So these pasillas are ready. These little arbol, you know, they're kind of brown on the outside, they're ready. And these I'm just going to press against the heat, heated pan here, and they'll be ready soon. So go ahead and remove these. See, this is, this is, see how this has little blisters there? That's what we want. We don't want to burn it, of course, so be careful. I'm going to turn this off. So now I'm going to put these in a bowl, and I'm going to pour boiling water on top of them, and then I'm going to weigh them down with a plate. I'm going to let them soak in there so that we can later blend them with some garlic and get our meat ready. So I will see you guys when these are nice and ready, nice and soft. It'll take about 20 minutes. These are the beef ribs we're going to use uh, today for dinner. Check them out, they're beautiful. Look how beefy they are. See that? Awesome. Oh, these are gonna be nice. And they have all that marble in them. I am going to remove the membrane. You're gonna to wanna to use a sharp knife. And what you wanna do is just get underneath that membrane between the bone and on top of the meat. See that? And you can grab this with a paper towel or just like this and, and kind of pull it off. So go ahead and do that with the whole two racks, or if you're using one rack, one rack, but go ahead and remove that membrane. This is going to allow the meat to, to, you know, get that marinade better, and it's also going to be easier to eat after they're cooked. Also, if you have excessive fat on them, you can go ahead and, and uh, kind of trim the fat off. Here's our trimmed ribs. I took off the excess fat, as you can see. I left a little fat on it, and I did take the membrane on, on, on the back. Okay? I went ahead and rinsed these off, and I pat dry them with a paper towel. We're gonna go ahead and sprinkle, I have a combination here of three tablespoons of salt, two of cumin, and one of black pepper. So first thing I'm gonna do is cover these with this salt. When we're gonna grill these really slowly, uh, we're gonna sear them first and then we're going to let them cook indirectly for a good, I'm gonna say three hours. Ok, 
Okay, let's get our chilies ready. These chilies are ready. Look, they're nice and soft. They soaked perfect. I'm going to go ahead and take the stem out and I'm going to seed them. I'm going to put them in the blender and I'm going to blend them with four garlic cloves. I might have to use a little bit of the liquid. You know, if you don't want to be super spicy, keep the seeds out. You know, I'm kind of nuts with my spice. So I'm, I don't care if it's seasoned or not. But if you don't want that super hot stuff, don't, don't uh, blend the seeds. So I'll be back when this is a paste. This is what our paste looks like. It's nice, nice and smooth. It doesn't have pieces of chilies in it. I went ahead and added a little salt to it. And now I'm just gonna smear it on both sides of my, of my rib racks. So we're putting the ribs directly on the grill bone side down first. We're just going to let them sear a little bit on the bottom. Because they have the sauce, we're not going to sear the top. What we're going to do is place them in indirect heat and let them cook really slow. So let's let this do its thing. Off. So here we go. We put the, the uh, ribs on the top rack and we also put a pan which we lined in foil underneath it. We don't want the fat that's going to drip to make our flames flare up and burn our meat. Um, if you don't have a top rack in your grill, go ahead and uh, turn off half of it if you're using a charcoal, I mean a gas grill and you know put the meat on the side that's not on. And if, or if you're using a charcoal grill, go ahead and pile the hot coals on one side. Use a metal uh, tool, don't burn yourself, and put the meat on the side that has no coals. Okay, we're going to let this cook for a long time. So I'm going to see you guys in about two hours. We'll come check them out and we'll see what's going on. See you soon. All right, let's check these out. Oh, look at that. They, they shrunk from the bone, which is awesome. If you, if you hear a baby, it's my granddaughter that's in my arms. Um, oh, this is so good. These have been cooking for about an hour and a half. Now we're going to put some uh, barbecue sauce on them and let them cook for another half hour at least. Okay, let's do that. Okay, so now Peter is going to just slather that on top. Oh man, that looks good, guys. I wish you could smell this. And as I said, we will put them back up there and cook them for another 30 minutes with the lid down. Look at these. Oh, yum. They are so good. So they cooked for a total of two and a half hours. Oh, we're going to eat now. And here, my friends, are our beef ribs. They are amazingly delicious. We cut a corner there, and it is super soft. It's mmm. Bon appetit, my friends, from thefrugalchef.com. Make sure you come and see us. We have all kinds of recipes that are not in video form. Eat well, my friends, without going broke. I will see you guys soon. Look at that. Yum.